Malaysia hosts the Thomas Cup finals for a sixth time. It's semi-final day here at the 2010 Malaysia, the five times champions trying to make it through to the final for an incredible 15th time. But they're up against China, the holders and seven times winners of the World Team Championships for men. The competition played, of course, for the famous Thomas Cup. Hello and a very good evening to you. It really is a wonderful atmosphere here on day six of competition, semi-finals day here, of course, at the Thomas Cup. We already know that Indonesia are through to the final, having played the afternoon session, but I can tell you that the Malaysian fans are in the Putra Stadium in force. And not only in force, in full voice as well. The atmosphere, absolutely incredible. <laughs> 12,000 seats in this stadium. And I can promise you, by the time play gets on the way, every single seat will be filled. Chinese supporters here as well, but of course the overwhelming support for the host Malaysia and their confirmation that Indonesia beat Japan in this afternoon session by 3-1. So Indonesia, the most successful team in the history of the Thomas Cup, are already through to the final. But who will join them on Sunday? We're about to find out because it's China against Malaysia. And look at that lineup. We start with the first men's singles, the world and Olympic champion, up against the world number one, Lee Chong Wei. And then, of course, we have the world champions in the doubles, Ka Yun and Fu Hai Fang, up against the Malaysian number one pair in the world, Ku and Tan. Olympic bronze medalist Chen Jin is the third match for China against the veteran Wong Chun Han. And just to remind you, of course, that we very much hope it goes the full distance. But at the knockout stages of the Thomas Cup, once the overall tie is decided, best of five matches, as you can see, the one, one team has won three points, three matches. Of course, the deciding matches are then not contested. The dignitaries, the Prime Minister's wife, the former Prime Minister's wife, all here to support the Malaysian team. Of course, the last time Malaysia were in the final of the Thomas Cup was eight years ago in 2002 when the event was staged in Guangzhou in China. They lost that final incidentally to Indonesia 3-2. But it is 18 years since Malaysia lifted the Thomas Cup aloft. And the last time that they won the Thomas Cup competition was in this very city, Kuala Lumpur. But it's a tall order today against the might of China. China trying to make it through to the final of the Thomas Cup for a tenth time. Lin Dan. Well, there's some support from the crowd for him. The Malaysian support, no question, is overwhelming. The Malaysian heroes, the mega star of Malaysian sports, Lee Chong Wei, the world number one. The first match in the semi-final tie. Lin Dan against Li Chong Wei. China against the host Malaysia. 
great velopot of Australia. Conducts the toss of the coin, and the players can decide which ends, which player starts first. The winner of the coin, po coin toss will make that decision. Lee Chong Wei, who so far in this year's Thomas Cup campaign has been absolutely superb. On Tuesday, in the last of the group matches, he led off Malaysia against Japan and in a repeat of the All England final against Kanichi Targo, one in two straight games. For Lin Dan, is a different prospect altogether. World ranking of number two. He is, of course, the reigning world and Olympic champion and won his gold medal in Beijing, beating his opponent of today, Li Chong Wei. Four times he's been the All England champion in six consecutive finals, Lin Dan. But that run was broken this year by this man, Lee Chong Wei. And just look at his win loss record for the year. He hasn't lost a match. And that, quite frankly, is phenomenal. Three tournaments he's won this year, three Super Series events that he's played the Korean Open, he beat Peter Gay, and the Malaysian Open, Boon Sak Bonsana. And then in the All England, as I've just mentioned, beats Targo of Japan. Well, Greg Velikot of Australia, the umpire, is going to have quite a job to be heard against the fanatical Malaysian fans here in the Putra Stadium. David Chang, the service judge from Taipei. Well, overwhelming advantage on the previous head-to-heads between these two, 13 to 6 in favour of the left-handed Lin Dan. And in fact, he's won the last two meetings, as you just saw, the China Masters and also the Sudaman Cup last year. But Lee Chong Wei does have an incredible record here in Malaysia. His coach, Datuk uh, Nisban Sadek, on the right there. Nisban Sadek, of course, the All England finalist back in 1986. And in fact, the last time that Malaysia won the Thomas Cup back in 1992, it was Nisban Sadek's younger brother Rashid that led the Malaysian team to victory. Kang Shu one of the Chinese coaches. And the Mexican wave going round the Putra Stadium.